Hi everybody, Gerdy van Poet here, their greatly guiding coach. And unfortunately, even while doing a video on why you should take your stress outside, I'm inside. And that's not by design, I can tell you. I was completely planning. Let me turn this a little bit. There we go. I was completely planning to do this video outside this morning as I was working my way up a mountain. But I was hiking with a friend or touring with a friend and we were under a bit of time pressure. So instead of stressing myself out, I decided that I would just enjoy what I was doing. And I'll post a video of that later um, and not worry about the video. So I have my cheat sheet here so that I don't forget the things that I want to talk about with you guys today and um, I'll just jump in. Well, if you've been following me for a little while and um, you cannot have missed that the outdoors are important to me and they are an important part of why of what I do as a coach because I'm not just a life coach i'm also a mountain hiking guide and taking people into the mountains is one of the first things i do when they start working with me i take them into the mountains because i'm a firm believer that stepping out of your comfort zone makes it easier to get a different perspective on whatever is causing you stress and the things that you may want to change can much more easily be seen from a distance than when you're stuck in the middle. So I take people into the mountains with me, which is where they can completely disconnect from anything that is uh, a digital device. They can completely immerse themselves in nature and they literally get a different perspective on their lives because you're higher up. You're looking down on the life that you're living at home. Now, could I take, do I have to take people into the mountains with me? Could they, could we not just start working together without that whole mountain thing? Yes, we could. And no, I don't necessarily have to take them into the mountains with me. And you may hear my dog in the background right now. Hang on. Put so. Um, so I don't necessarily have to take people into the mountains with me, but taking people into nature has some huge benefic be benefits um, that I think are a great way or a great help in kickstarting the whole process of de-stressing and figuring out how it is that you want to live your life instead of that overstressed life. Hi to whoever is watching. So, what does, what are those benefits? Well, it starts by stress reduction. It has been proven by science that going into nature, even looking at photographs of nature, reduces the stress hormone cortisol in our bodies. Now, when that hormone level drops, that feeling of being stressed all the time also is being reduced. So that's one of the first things that helps. When we're less stressed, it gets easier to focus. I remember when I used to spend my uh, days in a perpetual state of being overstressed. I remember sitting at a desk at home at some point, trying to get everything done for the next day and typing away at a report only to find after I was reading it, what I had written, that I would, well, it was still Dutch, but it had noth nothing to do with the report that I was trying to write. So my focus was completely shot. Lowering our cortisol levels by going out into nature increases our ability to focus because the stress goes down and our head clears up a bit. It also reduces brain fog. It's, um, scientists would call it mental fatigue, but for me, 
And for many of my clients, it feels like my head is in a cloud, my, my brain is in a cloud and I can't think clearly anymore. As our fatigue is reduced, our memory capacity, our um, capacity to remember things increase, uh, increases again. So that's another benefit when we go out into nature and especially our short term memories. And if you're, if you're really stressed out and you're finally sitting down, maybe you've had this experience as well where you're talking with a family member or with a friend and halfway through you starting to tell something you realize that you've got no idea where you started and where you are and the people are looking at you a bit weird perhaps because that thread in your story it's gone so that's another one brain fog is lifted your your capacity to remember things especially the short-term memory increases again and then there's um and that's the one I love, which is especially important when I take people into the mountains with me. Studies have proven that when we go into nature for at least three, four days, our ability to, our, to creatively solve problems increases by as much as 50%. Well, that is a huge amount. And that is incredibly useful when you're looking at your life, when you're trying to solve the problem of how do I de-stress my life and what is it that I want to do with my life? How do I want to live my life? So that's why I take people into the mountains. Now, as I said, I would have loved to have done this video outside, but unfortunately I'm standing inside, but I promise I will post my video later on that the one, the short one that I did this morning because I was outside. So, and then there's of course the, uh, the physical benefits as well. Your blood pressure mm. drops, your heart rate drops, it's good for bone density, it's good for balance, moving outside is good for balance, it's good for bone density and I learned from my friend with, with whom I was uh, hiking this morning, she's a physical therapist, that once you've passed 35 you have to work mm. at uh, keeping your bone density up because if you don't that number is going to go down it's it doesn't you, you can't build it up again it will just go down osteoporosis is, is, is something that's waiting around the corner so that helps apparently going outside and regularly moving also reduces your cancer risks it helps with weight loss it helps with whatever what else was well, not whatever but and the last one which is really important and especially when you lead a stressed life sleep quality sleep quality increases dramatically when you regularly go outside so i completely understand if you don't want to come to austria and come on a dare greatly experience with me on which I would take you four days into the mountains, whether it's skiing or snow hiking or hiking in the summer. I understand it's an investment. However, I am sure there is a bit of nature outside, uh, not as outside, outside the place where you live and where you work. Even if you work in the city, there's or live in the city, there's probably a park. Maybe you've got a garden. Maybe if you just take a short drive or you hop on a bike and you ride a little while, you come to a forest or a beach or even mountain. Go outside, take your stress outside. And if all of that is impossible, get yourself a beautiful photograph or a beautiful painting of a natural uh, environment because that helps too. That's it. That's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. As always, go there greatly. And should you be going outside, be safe out there. Bye-bye.